Copy, Echo One. This is Echo. Congratulations, Echo One. Well, looks like my past has finally caught up with me. So, Rangers, you come to take me down? Well, <laughs> I've had a good run. Just don't expect me to go quiet. I got work to do here, and I ain't leaving till it's done. That fool Ranger came around here a few weeks back, wanted to take me in for questioning. I sent him packing, just like I'll do to you. Yeah, you know, for all my countless crimes, so I bet you rangers have a file on me a mile thick. I'm Adian Bombacitabo, known as the Chisel. You must heard of me, I'm the last of the hard men, you savvy? Huh? Ain't it obvious? I'm Casey James, security chief. Too many to name. Crimes, misdemeanors, rude things. You calling me soft? <laughs> I've shot men for less. A lot less. Why do they call me the chisel? <laughs> Everybody knows why they call me the chisel. It's because I... Because I... <laughs> well, what do you know? I, I forgot why they call me that. I'm a security chief, ain't I? I provide protection against them real thieves and them Topekans, and he provides me with a yurt to stay in. Maybe not the best price I've ever charged, but you just watch your step, whippersnapper. I'll earn every penny. Damn right I am, and until this war with them Topekans is over, I ain't going nowhere. I'll turn myself in when the fighting's done, but not before. Yeah, out there, not in here. They know better to come here when the chisel's around. You're standing it, and I hate these goddamn hippie teepees. Still, I beat sleeping out in the dust with them... Uh, lizards. And good riddance, coppers.
for saving Ralphie and disarming that bomb. You guys are heroes. See ya. I smell hidden death. Who are you working for, Rangers? Are the Rangers taking orders from those damn Topekans now? Ha! Huh. You Rangers are comedians, truly. The Topekans have destroyed us, killed our brothers, stolen our most sacred relic, robbed us of our livelihood, and driven us into the wastes where we're easy prey for the rail thieves. Are those problem enough? The people with money, maybe. Well, we Atchinsons may be poorer than dirt, but we can still fight. Remember that, Rangers, the next time you take orders from your Topekan masters. The Topekans think they're the gods of the railway, and we're just their slaves. Well, they might run the trains, but we Atchinsons lay the tracks and keep them in shape. And we ought to get our share of the profit from all the rail trade. That's what this is all really about. Blaming us for wrecking the train? That's just Kekima trying to justify not giving us our share. Well, we're not going to take it. They didn't jump you on the way here? You're lucky. If the Topekans weren't our worst enemy, the rail thieves would be. Lazy bastards don't want to work. They just want to steal what we've worked for. Used to raid the trains. Now they want to strip them for scrap. Worst thing about them, though, is that they're getting in the way of our feud. Hard to go out on an honest raid against the Topekan camp when we gotta watch behind us for an ambush from those lame-ass banditos. Engine number nine. It's dead and buried in the desert just outside the camp. A monument to the stubbornness and stupidity of the Topekans. That one-armed bandit, he couldn't stand that the peons who laid the rails got an equal share from the rail trade. The greedy bastard wanted it all for himself. Huh. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't wreck engine number nine on purpose. Just to have a reason to rob us of our half and keep the golden spike for himself. Before the Topekans betrayed us, those rails were in perfect shape. And they will be again once they stop killing us and give back our spike, but not before. Look where we're living. You think we like it here? We used to live in the main camp with the Topekans. They were our friends. Now we're in the weeds with that goddamn rail thieves between us and our rightful home. And it's no good telling us to move somewhere else. Working on the railroad is all we know. We're not going to let that asshole Kekaba force us to change our ways. The Topekans wrecked engine number nine, their first train, because they didn't maintain its brakes. Then they accused us of sabotaging the rails and stole our golden spike, saying we weren't worthy of it. Well, we couldn't let that go unanswered, so we stole a part from old 97. And now there are no trains running, which means no trade, no money, and no food. We're living on dirt here. Lord knows we've tried to make peace, but they just won't listen to reason. The golden spike was given to the Atchinsons by the hammer god himself, John Henry. It's a symbol of our long years of working on the railroad all the live long day. Those Topekans stole it. They stole everything. We'll give the part back when they give back the spike. It's all on them. They're starving, too. All they gotta do is give the spike back and we're all back in business. No more deaths, no more broken track. We all shake hands and make peace. I don't think you can steal the brake shoe back for them. You'll never find it. Absolutely I do. But they'll have to give our spike back, share the wealth, and stop killing us. I don't see any other way. You think John Henry is their god? The Topekans drive trains. They don't lay track. Why would they worship a god who pounds spikes into railroad ties? Well, I'll tell you why. Because their god is embarrassing. Who wants to worship Choo Choo Charlie? Who wants a train whistle as their holy relic? John Henry is cool. 
So was a golden spike. So they took them both and kicked us out. That spike is ours by right. There will be no peace until we get it back. I kid you not. The world's most famous engineer is some kid from a box of candy. That's who the Atchinsons worshipped until they stole our god. Who said we were killing anybody? It's the wrath of John Henry that's killing them, not us. And all they have to do is appease him and give us back the spike. They can end this endless war any time they want. I do want it to end. You think I want my girl Jessie to be fighting Topekans when she's my age? But it ain't us that keeps it going. It's them. We could have the train ready to roll in an hour if they stopped killing us and gave us back the spike. All we'd have to do is give back their brake shoe, lay a few rails, and pound a few spikes, and old 97 could roll out today. But they ain't gonna do the right thing, so it ain't gonna happen. You didn't see the corpses hanging from the Topekans' gate? You didn't see all the women walking around here with no men at their sides? Well, we don't take that kind of thing lying down. Every time the Topekans lynch in Atchison, well, let's just say we believe in an eye for an eye around here. Damn fools never learn, though. Atchison women have always worked side by side with Atchison men. Now they fight side by side with them. But the Topekans only hang our menfolk. They're saving the women for something else. Damn, Rangers. Didn't expect that. Thank John Henry for small favors, I suppose. Why don't you take this little baby's a sign of my thanks? I was saving it for a special Topekan, but you'll make better use of it, I bet. Why would you think that had anything to do with me? There's plenty of coffee cans lying around in the world. J Jesse was playing around near that bomb? I... I... Oh, great John Henry. What kind of monster has this war made me into? I nearly killed my own. Rangers, if it wasn't for you, I... I would be blowing my brains out right now. I owe you my life. My daughter's life. Whatever you want, I'll do it. Just name it. I... I... All right, you win. This war's done nothing but kill children on both sides. I don't know why I couldn't see it until my own daughter was threatened, but, well, go tell Kekaba I'm done killing and ready to bargain. Have him meet us at the entrance to our camp and we'll hash us out. We'll bring the brake shoe and fix the rails in exchange for the spike and half the profits from the rail trade. But the spike must return to us. That is not negotiable. We can't both have it. Are you saying we should use the golden spike to repair the rails? Make it the final act that gets our train going again? Like some kind of symbolism? Ha! <laughs> I like it. Particularly since it'll be in our rails and not in their station house. Okay, Rangers. If you can get Kekaba to agree to that, along with the rest of it, then we have a deal. Yes, I made the bombs. John Henry, have mercy on me. How else are we supposed to fight the Topekans? You've seen our camp. We have no men left to meet them face to face. Just kids and broken old fools like myself. And I am a fool. God, Jesse, how can I ever... Might not be polite, but the sooner you're gone, the better. <laughs>